All right, playing stupid with health and Southwest Airlines. Uh, by the way, if I see one more fucking idiot, you play stupid games, win stupid prizes, that fucking thing. And then what was the other one? Oh, any animal video where an an, where a predator is killing prey. Somebody always has to write, I know this is difficult, but this is nature. <laughs> When the fuck did I see, did I say that I needed you to hold my hand through this fucking video? You're sitting at home in your fucking pajamas too. Stop acting like you're out in the wild wearing a loincloth and some fucking knife you made out of a fucking bamboo tree. All right. Playing stupid with health and Southwest Airlines. Oh, yeah. Southwest Airlines said, I guess, said if you're fucking overweight, you don't have to pay for the seat next to you and you can board first. You know, there's no way they're having these chow hounds getting on before disabled people or the troops. There's no fucking active fucking you're in the Marines. Stand down. Stand down, Sarge. All right. We got somebody over here that likes a fucking uh, what are those, the, 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 a blizzard it's at Wendy's. I like my patties square and I like my fucking shakes to sound like the weather. Um, hey, Bill, I'm one of those people who is enraged by fat fucks lecturing me about health over the last few years. Yeah, that was one I didn't take the bait on. It's just I look at them. They are fucking addicts and they need to they need to break the sugar salt thing and they need to read up on nutrition and they got to get control of their lives or they're going to fucking die. Um, I didn't get enraged by them because I've also battled with like uh, sugar addiction, which for me, I just fucking for me. Did I really just say that? I just fucking said I don't eat dessert. I like saying that, you know, too. I like saying that to another guy, too. Like I was at a Christmas party. So I was like, you get into this cheesecake and I just got I don't eat dessert. You know what I mean? And I see that look in their face. They're like, is this guy like questioning my manhood here? And it's like, I absolutely am. You want to cure people of fucking, like, all men of fucking eating sugar? Like, it's like if you if you go into, like, the coffee shop and you order something sweet, you should be made, you have to eat it there in pub, public and you have to put on one of those old school party hats. You know, with the thin fucking rubber band and then it's a, like a little fucking triangle on top of your head and you should have to fucking sit there and eat it as everybody just looks at you, shaming you. Um... Anyway, uh, so I'm one of those people who actually was enraged by fat fucks lecturing me about health over the last few years. I've spent my whole life not being an asshole when it comes to food. If you're unhealthy or unhappy with your life, I don't want to hear your views uh, on literally anything. I have no sympathy for fat people who haven't undergone any trauma. Uh, I have fat family members, so I know firsthand that most have no excuse. I hate waking up early to work out, but I do it three times a week. It's no easier for me than it is for anyone else. Amen to that. Fucking amen to that. Yeah, it isn't. It fucking sucks. Um, until you get there and you get a couple of reps in, especially if you're doing upper body. You know what I mean? Then you start lying to yourself. I'm a fucking beast, right? And then you film yourself in a batting cage and you want to crawl under a rock. Um, uh, it's no easier for me than it is for anyone else. And when people act like it is, it's an, an excuse for their own laziness. 100%. 100%. I mean, you're explaining a lot of female behavior here. They get away. One of the reasons why so many, there's so many fat fucking broads out there is not because, look, you had a couple of kids, I'll give you a pass. But, like, the amount of them that are just out there, just fucking out there, like, they're getting ready to go to slaughter. It's because, like, no one can, can call them fat anymore. You know what I mean? You got to say, oh, you're beautiful. Oh, you're plus side. It's like, no, man. You, you, like, what did you look like five years ago? Yeah, you fucking lay off the donuts, sweetheart. Jesus Christ. You fucking shit and sugar. Uh, Southwest Airlines has decided to give an extra seat to fatties for free if they need it. I don't have a problem with that. I don't want to sit next to one right next to them. Right next to them. Uh, they dangled donuts and fast food in front of people's faces to get the job. 
But that's my thing, you know, for fatties, if they, if they get an extra fucking seat, that's another thing, too, like the message that they're sending. You get status for being fat, so if you actually start eating salads, you're like, I can't do this. Do it for your family. Well, I fly every weekend. I don't want to lose my extra seat. Uh, MSNBC tried to tie home workouts to far-right white supremacy. That all tracks. I don't understand why you guys watch those fucking shows, those channels. I mean, MSNBC, CNN, and Fox News, you might as well be watching The Real Housewives. Uh, Here's a conspiracy theory for you. Anyone defending any of these things hates themselves. And anyone saying these things aren't a big deal are idiots, too. Uh, They're the same ones worried about rhetoric in every other area. But when kids are getting fatty liver disease at eight years old, we have to worry about how other people's feelings will be affected. Yeah, it does. It makes about as much sense as like getting, you know, suspended for stealing signs. But the other team can hire your fucking coach. You just fired eight months ago. It's fucking bullshit. Um, Yeah, no, that that somewhere like liberals scared the shit out of corporate lawyers with canceling and and um, they always get nervous when there's any sort of like uh, what's the fucking word discrimination any sort of dis- now, race I understand but the, the, the fact that like fat people are under the same fucking umbrella is uh, racial discrimination which by the way uh, another embarrassing moment in Massachusetts history I guess they have some sort of Asian mayor or something out there or whatever. And she had a Christmas party and it went out that it was whites. Oh, not, no, no, not whites only. It was no white people allowed. She claimed it was a typo and uh, whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't know what the fuck happened, right? But all I know, watching like white people in Massachusetts or whoever are online complaining about that. Like, yeah, see when they do it. It's not considered fucking racist. It's like people, non-white people were not allowed to go after their dreams and and achieve their potential or feel fucking safe for 200 years. You can't go to one fucking Christmas party and you're, you're doing an equivalency thing there. It's just, it's the fucking, it's the worst. But it is how human beings are. It is all, and we don't give a fuck about anything until it affects us. And I mean everybody. I mean fucking everybody. I'm not just saying white people like that. Every, that is human fucking behavior. You know why that's fucked up? Because it affects me. Um, case of, that's why empathy is the, I feel, one of the hardest of human emotions. To get outside of your own fucking bullshit and actually give a fuck about something that's affecting somebody else that doesn't have any effect on your life. You know what I mean? As I'm fucking trashing fat people. Um, did I trash? I think I did. But they're, they're not doing those people. Um, I don't know. I, I don't I give have an extra seat. I don't give a fuck. They should have an extra seat. They're as big as two seats. They shouldn't just have one and spill into your seat. So I don't have a fucking problem with that. All right. But I would say, uh, you know, calling them healthy. You know. I don't know. Somebody actually said, wait a minute. Somebody sent me a text message today with a picture. Um, It was on the cover of Cosmopolitan. They had this Spanish actress on there. And she's definitely plus size. And Cosmo wrote, this is healthy. Okay. Um, So Spanish actress... It's Z.R. Z.R. Castro, who fought against fat phobia, dies aged 46. And uh, look, man, she shouldn't like not be able to get a job. I understand all of that type of stuff and they shouldn't be shamed and all of that shit. I 100 percent get that. But like to tell them that they're healthy and that this is healthy, that's a very reckless fucking (laughs) I mean, I, you know, it'd be great if like alcoholics could piggyback behind that and you just got somebody face down in a bar at like two in the afternoon on a Wednesday and you just write, this is healthy. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I, use, I did a bit about that, didn't I? Fucking plagiarizing myself here. 